Hey everybody, what's going on? Hope everyone's doing well out there. Hope everyone had a great weekend. Uh, I started doing a little bit of guitar work again over the weekend. A little bit on the Epiphone, uh, was it the green one that I've got? And uh, yeah, so right now is a little bit of an update for Weedy Guitar Studios uh, Jackson Neck. I ordered the decals on the 2nd of July and they finally showed up today in a regular plain envelope which is lucky that they didn't get destroyed or damaged in that envelope. Um, the guy ended up sending me an email saying that it, he was going to be shipping them a little bit late because he's moving shop and got a little bit caught up in uh, the movement and everything else. So what i have here is weedy guitar studios neck now i've already stripped the headstock and as you can see you know the flat black is still there i got the back of the neck all sanded down and ready for some final clear coats on the back of it which is still going to be sanded down but the final clear coats are going to be like a filler type thing to where it smooths everything out now the top of the headstock has been stripped down here is some remnants of the old jackson decal yeah this thing is it just peeled right off as soon as i sanded around the edges of the uh the logo it just came right off so it's like okay fine whatever that's not going to work so what i want to make sure is that there's no dust or anything on this headstock because if there is it's going to show up through the decal as a little bit of a bump so i'm gonna go ahead and open this up Let's see what we got here. And uh, he said he threw in something special for me or a little bit of a gift or something. So let's see what he did. Uh, if you have any issues whatsoever, please message me on eBay. Okay. If you have any issues, okay, the same thing. So what did he send me? He said he sent me some. Okay, so this is kind of nice. This package pretty decently as far as... Uh, how they package these they're sealed so i want to see what else he sent me because he said because it's going to be so late he sent me a gift or something in this so i don't know what he sent me besides these little this little triangle thing over here with the so let's take this out yeah okay so that was his free gift huh yippee all right so here is the Jackson logo. And again, I thought that it, you can't put the R over here. You're not supposed to do that. Hmm. The Made in USA part has to come off. So here's the logo. All right. So you want to peel off this back over here from what I understand of how to do this, which is pretty simple because this is, I used to put uh, basically the same type of decals on vehicles, on window, window stickers and whatnot. Um, so I do have to get rid of this part here. And how I'm going to do this is kind of trim off just that spot right there where it says Made in USA because this is not Made in USA. And it's not supposed to have the R logo on here because they, from what I've read, they can get in trouble for doing that shit. But, uh, Guess some people don't listen all right so wow these are thin holy shit these are thin all right let's get this logo on i have an idea where it has to go in between here and this way so what i want to do is make sure i have this right so i have to bring up a photo all right so i printed out a little cheat sheet here so I can figure out exactly where this Jackson logo has to go. It looks like it's right between, like I said, those two there. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process, being very, very careful that all the lettering stays on, stays on this little sheet. Yeah, this is just like the shit that I used to do with uh, the cars. All right, so we got the logo out. And I'll line this thing up right here. So it's basically right between those two right there. Now, 
that on the binding at all. All right, and then you take it and kind of scratch it in. Making sure that you're gonna stick these. Now these are very thin. I, I like this, I like this a lot. All right, and then you peel this off, and the logo should stick in place. Oh, nice. Very, very, very nice. There you have it. Jackson logo. Now what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to hit it with a piece of sandpaper just a very very little bit to scuff it up so the clear has something to stick to. <coughs> so, so I got as a piece of 400. What I want to do is just kind of scrape over it just a little bit. Not applying a lot of pressure but just enough to put some scratches in it and what that's going to do is basically have the clear stick to it So that's that. Now to add some clear to it. Alright, so let's see here. There is my paint. Love it, love it, love it. I got a lot of paint and shit I gotta get rid of in here. Some old car paint back there and some old car paint back there. Can't keep on to that shit for too long. Alright, so let's get this can ready. Alright, that first coat looks really nice. It came out really good. And again, very light coats. You don't want to put too heavy on there because uh you want something light for the next coast to stick to. So let's go ahead and do this. Yeah, we'll it. All right, that's it for now, and let it uh, let that tack up, and then I'll put another coat on it. I'm waiting for paint to dry. Okay, so she's looking pretty good. Get that a bit. Test spray. Bring it a little bit heavier so I can get uh, a little bit better reaction out of it. Yeah. All right, so I got the headstock where I want it. Now I'm putting a second coat on the back of the neck. The first coat was just a light tech coat. And this will be the second coat, which will be the final coat on the back of the neck because uh, there's already clear on it.
All right, so that's it for the back of the neck. Again, I already sanded it down. Um, basically what this coat is, is just a filler coat. And uh, so if there's any orange peel or anything that was left from sanding, um, it's gonna fill that in. And uh, then I will be able to give it a matte finish after it dries. So that's it for now, um, yeah. Took me a while, had to wait for the damn mail to show up for the decal, and uh, so far so good. Later.